All right, guys, week seven versus the Raiders. We are at home once again, coming off a bad loss versus the Vikings in which we lost 19 to 13 and the worst possible outcome ever. Justin Fields being hurt with a dislocated thumb and the MRI, they didn't really want to tell us what happened with that MRI, but they're saying that he'll be out until he can grip the ball, which obviously, yeah, of course, but I don't know what our, our coach is doing. I don't know what he's talking about. And he's, that's kind of been the theme with him all season can't wait till he's gone and Justin feels hurt and from what many doctors and many people speculate he could be out anywhere from like one to six weeks probably closer to like four weeks for, at least for sure we know for this game against the Raiders he'll be out which means that Tyson Badgett the undrafted free uh free agent rookie will be starting and obviously guys keep in mind that even though Tyson Badgett looked great in preseason and he looked somewhat solid against the Vikings um this is his first NFL start ever and yes, now he's getting a game, uh, a week of practice and a game where he's expected to be a starter. So yeah, maybe now that he has a little bit more experience under his belt, he will perform a little bit better and maybe not make those errant throws uh, like he did against the Vikings where he kind of threw that duck uh, right at the two minute warning. But uh, nonetheless, guys, it's obvious that right now the season is kind of just unraveling before our eyes and the season it's just coming down to a close in terms of playoff hopes if there was any to begin with but you know we're going against a team right now who isn't you know terrible they're not great but you know they're not terrible and especially on defense they are they have been a lot better lately and they shut down guys like jordan love who we couldn't even shut down and they shut down the patriots pretty much the entire game uh they did make it close against them i believe they only lost uh they only won 19 to 17 if i'm not mistaken but either way guys we're going against a pretty solid defense and keep in mind, Max Crosby on the other side of the ball. Our offensive line is playing absolutely terrible. Our offensive line was Swiss cheese against guys like Danielle Hunter and pretty much the rest of the D-line. And so now we've got an even better pass rusher, probably the best pass rusher we faced, uh, we're facing all season in uh, Max Crosby and best edge player for sure. And this dude is just going to have a field day versus our first round rookie, probably Darnell Wright and our left tackle larry borum i don't know how any of us are going to be able to stop him uh, any, any anybody on our offensive line is going to be able to stop him he's going to have a monster game i feel like and justin fields i mean well tyson badgen now is going to have pressure in his face pretty much just like justin fields has been uh throughout his entire career and it's going to make matters a lot worse for a young quarterback who's not a first round pick by the way not a second round pick not even drafted at all he is an undrafted free agent rookie quarterback and yes he has played solid when he had playing time in preseason in his last game you know for a for a guy who you know you never even expect to even make the roster you never even hear his name he came from a d2 school um i believe it was shepherd university or something like that and there's a little bit of excitement just to see that he has you know performed way above expectations considering there were pretty much no expectations for him and now that he's even you know beat out guys like pj walker and nathan peterman who even though they're not great quarterbacks they have a lot more experience than a d2 rookie an undrafted free agent so i do like tyson badgen just from what i've seen from him but i don't think uh, as of right now he is the answer and obviously we can't know for sure until he's played more games i don't expect him to be either way unless he plays like absolutely crazy the rest of the season for some reason they shut justin fields down and he plays like an absolute madman you know then that's just a whole new scenario that we would have never expected but as of right now guys we don't know anything about tyson badgen I hope he plays well, but either way, I'm going to read you guys some numbers here um, from both sides of the ball for the Raiders and for the Bears. I'm not going to throw out as many numbers as I did last week. I think I overdid it just a little bit. So I'm going to shorten this down to just uh, passing and rushing and total yards on both sides of the ball in terms of rankings. So once again, have it written down on my phone here. We're going to start with the Raiders offense first. Mind you, they have Josh Jacobs, Devontae Adams, and I believe before I get into this, I think jimmy g is going to be out i know he's questionable right now he had a back injury which he had to go to the hospital for last game and it wasn't uh they said it wasn't anything crazy it was just for precautionary reasons so whatever the case may be with that it's still too early in the week to kind of um know for sure at the time of me recording this video so i don't know if brian hoyer will get to start or if we're gonna face a less than 100 healthy jimmy g either way guys our defense is not great so uh, let me just read you guys the numbers real quick. Their passing offense, Raiders passing offense, ranks number 14 in the league, giving up, uh, putting up 218.8 yards per game. Uh, their rushing offense is number 31, so second worst in the league, 73 and a half rushing yards per game, which is very surprising considering they have uh, one of the better running backs in the league and Josh Jacobs, who led the league in rushing last year. 
So it's very crazy that this year now they just completely flipped around and have the second worst rushing offense in the league. And then for total offense, total yards uh, per game, they ranked number 24. So bottom half of the league, uh, putting up only 292.3 total yards a game. And then we take a look at their defense. Their pass defense is ranked number eight. 193.7 yards per game given up and i believe a lot of that has to do with the fact that max crosby is just an absolute animal on the field and their secondary has actually played pretty decent also but man max crosby makes a quarterback's life hell every single time and it's very hard to be able to formulate a great passing offense when you have to account for such an amazing edge rusher like max crosby rush defense ranked number 21 bottom half of the league once again in rushing defense they give up 121.7 yards per game so I should help out guys like Dante Foreman and maybe Roshan Johnson if he plays. I'm not too sure about on that. But their total defense ranks number 11. So borderline top 10. 315.3 total yards given up per game. And yeah, that's pretty solid. Top 10 deep, almost top 10 defense. And not ideal for a, you know, UDFA rookie going against that defense for his very first NFL start. So yikes. Going on to the Bears now. Their offensive side of the football uh, we have the 26th ranked passing off, passing offense. That's because we had a terrible uh, game last week passing the ball. We only passed for 188.5 yards per game so far. Our rushing defense a lot. I mean, our rushing offense, sorry, a lot better. Um, ranked number seven in the league at 136 rushing yards a game, and that was also you know with last week when we were just having Don, uh, Darrington Evans and uh, Dante Foreman. Hopefully, we get Roshan. Johnson this week maybe the numbers will go up a little bit more and we'll have a much better time running the ball especially considering that their rush defense is ranked number 21 um Khalil Herbert probably isn't playing this game actually no he's not he's on IR so we won't be seeing him for another uh three more games or two more games after this week but yeah Roshan Johnson pretty much maybe plays not too sure on that let me continue on here uh total offense ranked number 18 in the league so kind of middle of the pack at 324 point yard point five total yards per game per game that we put up yeah obviously not the best not the greatest our strong suit is the run game here but without Khalil Herbert and maybe without Roshan Johnson not sure how much uh success we're gonna have with that going on to our defense now ranked number 29 in the past giving up 267.3 yards per game obviously not uh surprising at all our secondary has been terrible but our defense has been improving ever so slightly I, I believe we were ranked number 30 or 31st um last week so we kind of brought that number down because Kirk Cousins you know didn't play so great our defense played pretty well last week and has been playing uh pretty solid actually these past two weeks uh we were just weren't able to put up a decent amount of offense to win last week our rush defense is ranked number eighth I mean man I mean these past two seasons have been terrible with the run and for us to be ranked a top 10 defense now in the run game is insane we are only allowing 89.5 rushing yards a game guys that is amazing i mean just the turnaround that we've had from last year we were literally ranked number 31 last year i believe behind the texans and we just completely flipped, flipped the script now and we are ranked number eight so at least there is one positive with our team one great positive which is uh one big improvement which is our run defense and then the total um defense ranked number 25 we give up 356.8 total yards uh per game on average and like i said ranked number 25 in the league and yeah i mean our pass defense kind of ruins it here because we're such a bad pass defense we give up so many passing yards a game on average and this isn't even taking into account you know like teams kind of giving up at the end because they're beating us so much kind of like the uh the chiefs and just having to run the ball on us just because they're wasting clock so our pass defense just isn't great and you if you watch bears football you know how bad our pass defense is and even though we've gotten a little bit better these past two weeks i would like to see that improve more but then again you have Devontae Adams on the other side, which I'll talk about right now. Devontae Adams, obviously still one of the better wide receivers in football. He's just kind of suffering right now from the lack of quarterback production because Jimmy G obviously isn't that great anymore, or never was, but he's just not good at all. Even for his standards, he's just not good. And especially if they trot out Brian Hoyer, who's been a, you know, the pretty much the definition of a quarterback journeyman and obviously not that great. You know, Brian Horry for Devontae Adams isn't going to be that well for him. So I'm sorry to you fantasy managers that had Devontae Adams. There's a reason why I stood away from him uh, this year. But either way, Devontae Adams still one of the better wide receivers in the league. Probably a top three or top two or maybe even the best route runner still in the league. And you have to go against that against, you know, Jalen Johnson, who has shut down uh, Devontae before. I believe he did once back in like 2020 or 2021. Uh, but most of the time, Devontae gets the best of you. Any corner can say that. Even Jalen Ramsey, even you know guys like Sauce Gardner, I'm pretty sure he's gone against. But either way, guys, 
Um, yeah, Devontae Adams, not ideal. They still have, they also have uh, Jacoby Myers, who's a very solid number two option, a very solid complement to Devontae Adams. And they just have a lot of weapons. They also have rookie uh, Michael May Mayer, who's been doing uh, pretty solid as well. Nothing crazy like Sam Laporta, but still a solid option there. And so, guys, you know, this kind of just comes down to defense here. Our, our pass defense is terrible. Yes, they don't have, you know, Jimmy G fully healthy. Either they won't have Jimmy G fully healthy playing out there, or they'll have Brian Hoyer. And obviously, neither option is great for the Raiders, but they are being helped out with the fact that we have just a terrible passing defense by the numbers so far. So I hope that maybe as of last week and the week before, maybe our pass defense gets a little bit better. Um, I know I know our numbers are kind of down because uh, Sam Howell passed for a lot of yards against us, but that was more in garbage time. So maybe our pass defense is actually maybe a little bit better than I thought. But either way, our pass defense still isn't that great in general. So that helps out their situation in terms of pass game. Um, their run game is not going to work. Josh Jacobs is terrible this year. Our run defense is amazing. I don't see us having a problem against him. So I'm not too worried about their run game. But like I said, this comes down to defense here. And what is the one thing they have that we don't? And it, like a huge disparity, which is Max Crosby. Just one name, Max Crosby. And there is nobody on the Bears team on the Bears defense that even matches to the, even in the slightest bit to Max Crosby, because he is just an amazing pass rusher, an amazing player. And our, our offensive line played absolutely terrible last week. And we're still down Braxton Jones and to be honest, guys, even if Braxton Joseph it was in there, I still don't have solid faith in, in him enough to be able to stop a guy like Max Crosby for a full 60 minutes of football. So, yeah, Max Crosby is going to give Tyson Badgett and the rest of our offensive line hell. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to try to do whatever you can to double, triple team him, chip him with the running back to be able to just slow him down enough to where he isn't getting five, six, seven sacks uh, on us. If we, if we wanted to, we could literally just put him 1v1. He'll get like 10 sacks on us, but obviously not ideal for us we want to be able to stop a guy like him slow him down a little bit um so this game you're gonna to want to try to run away from him you want to every run uh rushing attack or most of the rushing attack should be running away from Mac max crosby we should incorporating the pe the quick pass game but don't run so many screen passes luke getsy i feel like you were doing better before without calling you know so many screen passes and instead now you're calling three we're back to calling three screen passes in a row have you seen that work not work before i don't know why he still keeps you know, with this, this this love story with a wide receiver screens, I've never seen a coach in love with one play call more than Luke Getzey. I mean, I know Matt Nagy had a problem with it at times, but not as much as Luke Getzey. Holy crap. I cannot believe he just will not stop with the wide receiver screens. They, it worked one time last game, and then the next two plays were absolutely terrible. I don't know why he continues to run that, so please, Luke Getzey, stop with the screen passes, for the love of God. Yeah, run the ball. Try to squip the, the quick passes. Maybe you want to run a screen once here and there if you feel like they're maybe backed off a little bit more than usual. Sure, go ahead. But other than that, man, stop with the spamming of the screen passes. That's that's just too much. So yeah, uh, incorporate quick passes. Obviously, Tyson Badger not being so experienced. They're going to want to make the game a little bit easier for him. Um, maybe you can't open up the playbook completely for him. I don't know how much of the playbook he knows yet or how much he doesn't have, obviously, the most chemistry uh, with the first team players all, all that well obviously not as much as Justin Fields because you know Fields has been in the system longer and he's been a starting quarterback longer this is just not a good situation all around for Tyson Badgen and as as, as exciting as he kind of is for a rookie and as much of an unknown he is you know we're not just trotting out a Nathan uh, Nathan Peterman out there or PJ Walker a guy that we know is at this point of their, of their career not that great you know we're kind of heading into an unknown with this guy so there's a bit of excitement there but honestly guys it's not going to be enough. The Raiders um, just have a great defense, great pass rush. And even though their run defense isn't that great and our run offense is good, a lot of our run offense came with the threat of Justin Fields being able to run the ball. And now we no longer have that threat. And I believe that's going to take a huge drop in our production in terms of run rushing offense, especially when you don't have a guy like Justin Fields out there. And I really feel that Tyson Badgett is going to struggle a lot against his defense so i'm sorry guys but i don't think we're gonna win here i think the raiders come into chicago we're playing at home still and i think they're gonna come to chicago and beat us with a final score of 20 to 13. i think maybe towards the end tyson badgen as the game progresses along maybe he'll be able to put up some points here and there i do think it will be a low scoring game just because um either the raiders will play a, a quarterback that is not 100 percent or they're gonna play brian hoyer neither qb option really scares me a whole lot and if it wasn't for Max Crosby, if it wasn't for that, you know, that great pass defense, I probably would be having the Bears maybe scratching out a victory here or maybe a lower, lower scoring game. But I think 
whatever quarterback goes out there is going to be, you know, a, a, in a lot better position than Tyson Badgen, just having to go against a much, be, a much worse pass defense. And yeah, first game starting for Tyson Badgen, we're not going to see a, a 300 yard four touchdown game from Tyson Badgen. It's, it's, mo it's very unlikely for that, especially when you have, when you have to go against a, a, a good and solid defense like the Raiders. So yeah, 20 to 13, low, low scoring game, Bears lose. We're going to drop to one and six. And that, that pretty much just puts a nail in the coffin for our season, especially since we don't get to see Justin Fields and probably won't get to see Justin Fields for another couple games. And that's just less and less games for him to prove that he's starting quarterback in Chicago. So soon, man, we're going to have to be talking about the draft. And I know it's still kind of early into the season, but we're kind of heading into that midway point of the season. And it sucks that as a Bears fan, we kind of have to go in that direction. And it sucks that our season has just taken a complete flop with so much hope at the beginning of the season with DJ Moore and all the new acquisitions and Justin Fields going into year three, man. It's been ugly. It's been ugly and it's probably only going to get uglier as a Bears fan, guys. So I'm sorry. Just buckle in because like I said before, it's going to be a long season. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below some score predictions. What you guys think about Tyson Badgen? Do you think he's going to be able to pull off a victory here? Like I said, I personally don't. And so don't be disappointed. Just accept the L here. Uh, like how I am if you don't want to get your heart broken. But yeah, it's about it, guys. Bear down and I'm out.